All right, guys, we are here in Kingsley, Iowa, right? Yep. Kingsley, Iowa. I got Brett over here. I got Sam over here. And uh, these two guys are the men behind the infamous Bush Latte gun. How'd you come up with that? Pretty interesting story. I'm sitting at work at lunch drinking a Bush Light, just like any other Iowan would be. Yeah, I mean, that's right? what you do at work. Right? Correct. And I'm thinking, Sam, what do I want to do for my gun? I send Sam a picture of the box. Sam, I go, Sam, can you put this on my gun? And the response I got back was, hell yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't you want to put Bush Latte on a gun? Right. Um, so the word is, I was talking to Sam, and he told me that uh, put it. we got it in the case because this is the coldest gun in all the Midwest. Um, and if I touch it with my hands, it might, like, get, like, automatic frostbite. <laughs> got to wear gloves um, when you So it. why don't you guys hold the ends, and I'll yep. pop it open. So come take a look at this. Oh, man, look at that. The Bush Latte gun. All right. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna shoot this thing. Let's, how about that, huh? Absolutely, yeah. let's All right. some rounds down range. A little nervous to touch it because it's so cold, but oh my God. Ah, oh, it's so cold. It's the coldest gun in the Midwest. We got some pop bottles. I I wanted to put like some Spotted Cow or some Miller Lite down there, but then I remembered that no one would actually ever buy that. So we just got pop bottles for now. <coughs> Oh my God, that was cold. That's <laughs> another day, another pop bottle exploded. I mean, that's what happens when you got the coldest gun. Ice in your veins. I want the guys that made it to shoot it now. Pretty good, eh? Yeah, it shoots pretty good. The uh, temperature dropped a few degrees since we since we pulled that baby out of the case, and yeah, I gotta set her down. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go uh, warm my hands up somewhere. This one we I think we call the uh, Iowa Special. Ready, boys? Yep. yep. And that's how you try and cut yeah, down a tree. Yeah. So we got a tar target at 400 here. He told me that it's an absolute guarantee that he hits it. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. There's no pressure on this one. I gotta dial it up 400 first. <laughs> oh. Well, it looks like he owes me a bushel. Holy shit. <laughs> well, I think that might conclude my day here in uh, Kingsley, Iowa. All these guys did a great job having us come. They let me blow up a freezer. So, all right, that's it. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah.